Hi, as we've already discussed about the introduction of Angular 2, now we are going to discuss about its architecture. Learning the architecture will basically help us in understanding the internal functionality of Angular so that we will be clear like how internally this Angular application works. So let's see about the architecture and here you can see there are a couple of things it means there are so many things like the module, service, property binding, template, metadata, component, events and directive. Alright, so basically we are going to cover all these things th throughout the video tutorial. The modules means when you create a module, that module could be a component, could be a service. So that means obviously here you can see like I am creating a component, I am creating the service. So basically everything will have its own functionality. Alright, like here throughout we will follow the single responsibility principle of solid. Alright. Apart from that, we will also introduce the dependency inversion principle. So here, what we will do, we will create service that will be injected in a component, all right, like not in a single, but multiple in order to do the reusability. The major thing, the main structure will be carried by the components and we will be having n number of components throughout the Angular application. How we want to render this, this component will be told by the metadata like this metadata will include all the required information about this component like which tag we I want to use for it if there are any providers if there is any style sheet and so many things including the template like which tag either you can see the angular brackets like which particular tag will help us in rendering this component over the web page apart from that you can see there are directives which again are called as a kind of component itself but they will be rendered as their own specific tags either you can implement them as the attribute all right we will see during the implementation and they will also have their own metadata apart from all these things we will see a lot of bindings like property binding events binding property binding is something like you know like when we pass a html tag we pass some attributes all right so each attribute have their own DOM properties which we can bind for the runtime. So when your components will be rendered, they will undergo a property binding so that if at the runtime you want to put any particular value, you will go for this property binding. And similarly, if it's about the events like you rendered the web page, all right, you rendered your component over the web page, and after that you want to make some action from there, so you can go for the event binding all right so it's about property binding event binding so these are all the basic building blocks in which we will be creating the angular application so as i said earlier in throughout this video series we are going to discuss about each and every aspect of it one by one